Hello everyone, just a quick review of my 16 terabyte Exos uh, Seagate hard drive that I recently got uh, as my external backup drive. I know it was a retail, I actually checked the serial uh, on the website and see if it's a uh, 5 year warranty. Uh, you can do the same. This is basically an external fan system I got. I had to actually mutilate the, the closure, the case, so to in order to allow better airflow. Uh, it actually worked, it actually made a huge difference. Um, so I'm basically just kind of configuring the new drive now using the, the, uh, the disk management in Windows 10. And you can actually look at the timeline and see how the temperature actually changes. I ran it for about maybe two hours, three hours on low fan speed. Uh, and then for about an hour prior to, uh, to kicking the fans on high speed, I shut off the fans completely. Uh, so you can actually tell from the point where that my note comes up saying that I'm turning on the fan. Uh, the drive has been running for about, I would say, at least 30 to 45 minutes without any fans. And it's copying about 4 terabytes of DVDs from my NAS drive to Exos drive. Uh, so it's been running since about, I would say, 10.45, 10.30, 10.45 in the morning till 7 o'clock at night. And I only shut off the fence for about 45 minutes, give or take 10. Um, so there you go. At this point, I basically have the fence on for about 2-3 minutes. And the temperatures are dropping already. So um, the fans are noticeable. It's a quite uh, loud on uh, high. Not annoying or not bothersome, but you can totally hear the fans uh, if you're sitting within close proximity of them. Um, but, uh, but medium is not that bad and actually does still provide quite a bit of cooling. A uh, low fan is hard to hear. It's not, hear, you know, loud at all, but then again, it really doesn't cool much either. So again, uh, I had about six terabytes, uh, maybe a little over six terabytes of data uh, when I started initially on my NAS drive. At the end of the transfer, where it completed, I had about 1.8 terabytes left. So, just to kind of give you an idea about a little over maybe 4 terabytes of movies, DVDs that I transferred. Um, and that's pretty much what I use for testing for a long time, marathon run. That's, uh, that's, that, that's basically what I picked. And I also wanted to take the load off my NAS drive too. And just want to keep my data, actual data and programs and uh, files and whatnot on the NAS drive. Um, I also have my music and stuff, but that's not a lot. Uh, DVDs were like definitely the biggest bulk of the, the data con uh, space consumption. Um, so anyway, I'm just running the, the Speccy and uh, a couple other things. This is actually my NAS drive uh, information control panel that you see on the left side of the uh, screen. And the NAS drive I'm using, uh, if you are curious, it's a Synology two, uh, DS218J. I bought maybe about maybe f uh, three, four years ago. Uh, that's pretty much what I've been using. With, uh, I'm using two 8-terabyte uh, Western Digital Red NAS drives uh, in RAID, uh, RAID 1 uh, format, which is mirroring, simple mirroring. Um, so anyway, one of the things that I would recommend is if you're doing a lot of copying or if you get into any errors when you're copying uh, data from one media to another, definitely stop the, the service called OneSync Sync, uh, One Sync Service. I believe it's 48, uh, 516, which is always set to automatic. You can disable it, but you can stop it. And that usually makes a, a big difference, uh, as well as uh, stopping whatever virus scanner you have running. If you have Windows Virus Scanner, the Windows Defender, as I sh just shown you a few minutes ago, uh, you can stop it and that will also speed up things and also uh, prevent errors as well. Uh, and I'm basically just checking the data right now, showing you the information. At the very end, I will actually uh, enable audio so you can actually hear the fans at the low speed. Uh, and then I can just pretty much jump to high speed so you can hear it for yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.